Hi, my name is Patrick Sander, Senior Sales Engineer at RAS Software. I'm going to demo IT as a service through dynamic desktops. In this demo, I'm logged on as an HR representative. I'm going to access my service orchestration client. I'm going to look at my personal service menu and I'm going to click on the service employee onboarding. I'm going to request this service. In the background, a transaction is started. I'm going to look at this transaction and the work items that is going to be processed. The first work item is HR providing information back to the service. So I'm going to specify the department of the new employee, which in this case is sales. The name is Clark Kent. He's based in the US and he is an account manager. When I've provided this information to the service, clicking OK, the workflow will continue. In the background, RAS Automation Manager will automatically create the user account in Active Directory. It will create the Exchange Mailbox. It will create the User Home folder and configure security on that folder. At this point in time, the user account will be disabled. The next work item is IT providing information and performing manual tasks. So I'm going to switch over to an IT representative. I'm going to look in their personal service menu. I will see that I've got a message. They want me to perform some manual tasks. So I'm going to provide the new employee with a, an access device which in this case is going to be a virtual desktop. And I'm also going to hand over an envelope with the username, password, and also the IT policy. When the user has signed the IT policy and handed that back to IT, IT can check this box, press OK, the workflow will continue, the user account will be enabled, Service Orchestration will also synchronize the new information in Active Directory with Service Orchestration as Active Directory is the authoritative source in this demo. Another authoritative source could be an, eight, an external HR database. The last work item is sending a message back to HR saying that the user is now productive, can access IT services and the IT policy has been signed. So I'm going to log on as Clark Kent to a virtual desktop running Windows XP. And since this, this is the first time I'm logging on, I'm requested to change my password. So let's change my password. And when that has been done, I'm going to log on to my new workstation. Now RAS Workspace Manager will automatically create my personal workspace. And it's going to do that based on my context. And the context is the ID of me as a user, the physical location, the time of the day, and the type of access device I'm logging on from. This will expose me to services. So when the workspace is ready to use, I'm going to start Microsoft Outlook to access the service email. Now the workspace is ready. So let's start Microsoft Outlook. When I'm clicking on the icon, RES Workspace Manager will configure 
Outlook client just in time. So the Outlook profile will be created and the signature will be set based on information in Active Directory. Service Orchestration has also added me as a user into the correct distribution list. So let's check my membership in the US sales distribution list. But the mobile phone has not been set. So I'm going to access my personal service menu requesting the service change my mobile phone number when I'm requesting this service a new workflow will start in the background and the first work item is me providing the new mobile phone number So let's provide my mobile phone number. When I've done that, the workflow will continue. RAS Automation Manager will update this field in Active Directory. It will then refresh my user workspace to expose the new configuration. And it will send a message telling me that the mobile phone number has been changed. So I'm going to start Microsoft Outlook, create a new message. and the mobile phone number is now in my signature. This was a short demonstration of ARIA software's capabilities to deliver IT as a service through dynamic desktops. Please visit www.ariasoftware.com for more information. Thank you.